On behalf of Casey and Chris, it is truly a privilege to be here with you this evening. We thank each and every one of you for taking time to be part of what is truly an amazing and monumental day in their lives together. Uh, guys, I watched the two of you uh, walk in this evening. I saw so many smiling faces. Here with you, you have people who love you, who support you, who also pledge their love and support to your marriage. Uh, you two really are so incredibly lucky to have that support system. Uh, but it's us, your guests, the people who you've invited to share this moment. We are truly the lucky ones, and for that we thank you. Now it's been said that one of the most important parts of life's journey is to explore and understand love. Uh, and love certainly exists on so many different levels and in so many ways it's fitting we spend our day seeking it out. Uh, here with us today we have many examples of love. Love parents have with their children. Love we feel for family or for friends. And we can attempt to describe what it means to love. But I think it's something you have to learn from your heart. I don't know if you can explain it to someone who hasn't been touched by its all-encompassing power. I think the two of you really have found one of the truest and deepest examples of love. And that's the love that brings the two of you together in that beautiful act of marriage. There's a poem that reads, Love is friendship caught fire. It is quiet, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. It is loyalty through good times and bad. It settles for less than perfection and makes allowance for human weakness. Love is content with the present, hopes for the future, and does not brood over the past. If you have love in your life, it can make up for a great many things that you lack. If you don't have it, no matter what else there is, it's not enough. Love really starts with a friendship. The two of you really begin this journey as best friends. And it's because of that love the two of you share that really compels you to share your lives together. Uh, that desire to share your lives truly has a, a great power. So never uh, underestimate the power your desires possess and really do everything in your power to keep your spouse as your focus always. Uh, I'll offer you uh, three suggestions for marriage. And the first is really simple. It's just to be grateful every single day for this incredible person who's choosing to share their life with you. Uh, there is not a greater gift than you can give than of your time, of your love, and of your energy. Make sure that your spouse is never shortchanged of those things. The second is to make each other the recipient of daily kindness. This world is a tough place, and we're all subject to more than our fair share of rough handling. Make sure that your home and your marriage really are a safe place from that outside world. And third, and I think most important, is to be open, honest, and truthful in every interaction, really regardless of how small. Trust and respect are a vital part of any relationship, but in a marriage, they are absolutely essentials. Remember that Life is full of obstacles and success. So make sure that these beautiful hands are the first ones you turn to for comfort when life starts to get hard, and that you turn to them first when you celebrate your success. I think the key really is to live for this person and know that they, in turn, they live for you. There's no greater feeling in all the world than knowing you're loved, you're accepted for exactly who you are. Um, we're trying so hard not to cry right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I met Casey when I was three years old in preschool. So we've been friends for 23 years. She's my best friend, my sister. We've been through so much together. One of my favorite memories is after I came, saw a family living in Europe. I went to live there for a little bit. And after I came for, to fourth grade to live here, Casey was the first person who came to welcome me with open arms. She was the first person happy for me. And that's just the type of person she is. She's a very caring person. And I, I, <laughs> but that's just how she is. She welcomes everyone, whether it's human or animal. She wants to help whoever comes to contact with her. And I think that's so special. And I haven't seen that in anyone else so far. The world is a tough place to live in. And she is very kind to each person. I've wanted a little brother so much before he came into my life. I wished and I wished, and I couldn't be more thrilled or feel incredibly lucky that God decided to give me Chris. 
helping me build my sense of humor and giving me an ego boost along the way. He's really shaped me into becoming a better man myself. Partners in crime, wingmen, best friends. I'm so happy that he's chosen to spend his life with Casey. If I was able to mold a woman specifically for my brother, it would have been her in every way. You've both gotten so lucky. Let's all raise our glass to Chris and his beautiful new wife, Casey, and the incredible journey they're about to embark on. Honestly, today I've probably cried more than she has, and that's not something that I thought I'd be able to say. But being able to watch my sister not only walk up as beautiful as she looked, but get to go and marry the man that she loves, it fills me up with a lot of joy, and it makes me really proud. Dear Pumpkin, we have a nice watched you grow up from a sweet little baby into a beautiful girl, both inside and out, loving young woman you are today. You have always made Grandpa and Grandpa proud. Our wish is over the past 26 plus years has been that your Prince Charming <laughs> is someone who loves and cherishes every day with you. Today you are completing that wish through the good times and the difficult times. Always will be there for each other and with all the love you share today, your wedding day. May your life together be as sweet and unconditional as your love to us has always been.